Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvania Toy Collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And we got ourselves some Decepticons to review this month. And these are the Micromaster Earthrise Decepticons. Their names are Growl and Bomb Shot. And they are little military vehicles. Bomb Shot's the tank. Growl is an armored car. Got some nice artwork of them in their vehicle modes. Blasting. Like it could be blasting Autobots to pieces. Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy. On the box, Takara Tomy Generation. And a, a product shot of, of Growl. And Bomb Shot in their robot mode in vehicle modes, which is real nice. Bomb Shot transforms in five steps. Right here. And Growl transforms in six steps, which is nice. And they are compatible with Ironworks, which I don't have. Maybe I'll get Ironworks after I collect all the MicroMasters. But now we're going to look at their vehicle modes. They all have wheels, so they can roll very nicely. But now, that's all there is to say for vehicle mode. Let's look at them really close. You get some nice molded tank treads. On bomb shot and a nice molded tank barrel. That is a nice looking tank barrel, if I do say so myself. And these are blast effects compatible. I just don't know where I put my blast effects. But you can totally go pew, pew, bang, bang in vehicle mode. And Growl can also go pew, pew, bang, bang in his vehicle mode. And that's all there is to say for vehicle modes. Let's transform these two. Starting with bomb shot. Disconnect this from the these treads from the to form the legs. Sorry if I'm getting confused. I guess I'm really getting confused today. Rotate the arms down like so. That's three steps. Here's the fourth step. And you, the barrel down, and there you got Bomb Shot in his robot mode. It doesn't look half bad for a tank Decepticon. I love the paint on these little MicroMasters. I never had any of the G1 MicroMasters because they were before my time. But if this is based on a G1 MicroMaster and you... My fans know know these characters. I'd say leave me a comment. Because I know nothing about G1. Except for a little bit. Except for Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Starscream. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Now we're going to transform Growl. Disconnect his arm cannon thing. His Mobile cannon. Disconnect his arms, like so. Fold down the legs, like so, and split them, and that's four steps. Next, we're going to rotate this down, and that's, that's from two to four to six steps, and to five steps, and in the last step, we flip out his head. And there we got Growl in his robot mode. Oh, oh, these, I will admit with some of these MicroMasters, the legs like to pop loose, and I'm trying to connect the, the gun, like on the packaging. Well, there we got Growl in his robot mode. And this is a cute looking robot mode. He looks pretty cool. He's got some molded 
hands. And he can go pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. Or these MicroMasters, they can go pew, pew, bang, bang. Bomb Shot can sort of use his turret as a jetpack and be like whoosh into the air if you want. But these are not bad looking MicroMasters. Now we're going to get down to comparison with some Siege Autobot. Micromasters. First is Growl with my boy Top Shot. And they look good if I do say so myself. Top Shot has the better looking vehicle mode than Growl. Now for comparison, here he is next to Top Bomb Shot next to his fellow tank mate. It is Siege. Micromaster, Black, they do share the same, they do share a tank design, except he shoots missiles and he is just a regular tank that shoots heavy ordnance. And not a bad comparison, this is going to be a quick review, so not much to say about these. Are Micromasters worth adding to your Transformers collection? Yes, I love these little bots from Earthrise and Siege because they do a good job of for being good representations of the G1 toys. And they're under about 10 bucks and they're worth the money. I highly recommend these if you like simple Transformers that transform. And I never grew up with the MicroMasters. But these guys are awesome. Pick them up if you can find them. And this is your boy Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.